In the summer, you know, as you trend towards, like I said, the quarters, it tends to get a little bit quieter on the quarters for my world, just because I'd love to say that we're the priority of everyone's day. But, you know, they're doing quarter close. Um, right now, they're still dealing with auditors that are typically on site. Most of my clients mm-hmm. I go out to and it's like Deloitte and my KPMG, right? <laughs> so um, I know I had that for me as well. And I used to be like, tell me what your deliverables are, because I need to literally like, tell me about the scope of your engagement so I can put you over there. <laughs> um, so and then the summer is just a little quieter because everyone gets a little bit distracted or the hiring process starts to drag out a little bit, right? Like they are still hiring. Um, and then you see that rebound from the summer where I call it, I call it like the, it's like the running to catch up mode, right? Yeah. Because now they're like, oh, I should have hired in the summer. And now I got to like scramble away from that, right? And then third quarter is typically often the busiest for us because people are, it's that reaction from the summer. And then it's that proactive, I don't want to hire around Thanksgiving, (laughs) you know, because that's when people start to tap out. So if you're in accounting and finance, if you're not running from anything Hmm. and you're in an environment where you're passively looking you don't feel great about resigning if you're a controller on December, se- you know, on December 15th. You're like, yeah. okay, that's not, I'm leaving at the end of the year and then I've got vacation and holidays. So most people will table the search right between that time of, I would say, Thanksgiving and, and, and like Christmas. Yeah. So um, I always tell clients, and so that third quarter is usually like what's often that's crazy. So it kind of tends to cycle and it tends to cycle in different ways if it's whether it's accounting or whether it's finance. We're starting to see more finance now, but that's mm-hmm. again from 18 years of doing this. I've seen this happen like every yeah. every single year. <laughs> um, earlier, you talked about uh, demand being really, really high mm-hmm. and talent not being there so much. So what are some of the challenges you see as far as like a talent drought here in Central Texas? What does that look like? 